Hello all, it's Regina here from The Cutting Cafe. Welcome to another episode of Watch Me Work Wednesdays. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put together another type of treat cup cards. Um, basically these are gonna be sucker treat cup cards. It's not really a card, so to say, but we are gonna be using the treat cups. So first I'm gonna show you how to put together the treat cup. You put this together basically the same way you did um, on the other treat cup cards that we carry. So I'm going to do that real quick. It consists of the same three pieces. This circle piece here, a clear piece that you'll put in the middle, and I'm hoping soon to be carrying um, this clear type of cardstock over um, in our Cutting Cafe kit section. We have a new sister site that goes with the Cutting Cafe where I'm offering kits made using different type of Cutting, ca cutting Cafe files. So be looking for that to come hopefully within a month. I'm hoping to be able to sell them in eight and a half by 11 and hopefully 12 by 12. So those of you who want to make big clear boxes um, the 12 by 12 clear card, clear card stock sheets will come in handy. Okay, so basically we put that in the middle there. This is the wrap, and then this is the piece that goes on top of the treat cup card. The only piece that I'm not showing that I did not cut out is there is another piece that you can actually layer on top of this. So when you have this on the bottom of your treat cup, you can make it a different color. So like I said, this... Um, part is the same as the other treat cups that come in the other set that we have. So we'll go ahead and put adhesive on here. Okay, then you want to turn that over and you want to fold these in. You want to make sure this is sticking on here pretty pretty good so you don't want to immediately start folding these over let it sit for like a second or two and I just use this two-way zig memory system glue it works really good and this paper is it's a cardstock but it's not a very very heavy one it's kind of like a medium weight kind of like a basic gray type of paper weight and it makes like a little cup there then you take this piece and you're going to wrap this around it. So you want to get a kind of like a good grip going on there. And we're just going to go around this, these flaps and kind of press down really good as you go, but try not to. Um, take it out of a circle shape. Okay, and then I kind of just keep going around and around and around a few times until it is all stuck good. Okay, and then you end up with something like this. Okay, then you don't want to put the top layer on yet. Remember this part is the one that kind of covers up all your raggedy edges here because then you won't be able to put the top layers on. So you want to leave that, you can even leave that till last. So the sucker part consists of basically just this piece and then there is, I'm going to be introducing a whole bunch of different sentiment sets. This one comes from the Halloween set so it's there's 12 Halloween phrases in this set. This particular one I'm using is um, says a tasty Halloween treat, and it kind of goes around. Now these will these you will be able to cut out using a three-inch circle punch, and the middle part you will use a two-inch circle punch. I just used I have a big old Marvy three-inch, so that's what I used after I printed this out on my printer to cut out the outer ring. But I didn't have a two inch punch, so then I ended up using one of my scale binders in a two to cut that part out. And so when you print it out, it looks like this. 
I cut the bigger one out, then I ran it through again, and I cut the smaller one out. So basically, the main sucker part is just this one piece actually for the front. And the sentiment sets will come in a, a whole new different set all by themselves. So, but along with this, also there will be a layer. There's a scallop layer that you can do it like this. And then there's another layer that you can put on top of that piece, like so. So then basically when you have this piece, it would go on top of here. There's also another layer, if you don't want to see the little brown part there, that would go there. So not to confuse you, I'm going to kind of go through all of these again as we assemble it. So here's the main piece of the sucker part, and then this is the back piece, which is going to allow you to get the treats out, and I'll show you how that goes. So you will take this, just like you did on the other one with the cards, and you're going to put this in here. So first you're going to turn it over and put adhesive on the back around the circle edge or you can use um, a glue pen. Okay, And then you will flatten these out Just like that, okay. Then you turn this over and stick it on top through it. Just like that. And then you want to just kind of flatten it down. Okay. And then that's on the back like that. Okay. Now here's the fun part, is you will then take whatever sentiment you want to use if you decide to purchase the other sentiment sets, and go ahead and put that on the top of here. And make sure you have your greeting facing up, whichever way you want it to be, the top. So, and this is what I meant by, you can still see a little bit of the other paper underneath. So, if that's okay with you, you would leave it. But if you don't like that, then you can take another layer that comes in the set to put on top of that. So we're going to do that. And I am going to use the glue pen for this. And actually this one seemed like it's not going on as smooth and that's just because I don't have mine as tight on the edges. Remember I was saying that for some reason this particular one did not want to fit on really smooth and I've been making them just perfect all day. Okay, so that kind of hides that other layer that was underneath that was showing the bats. Okay, and then, like I said, there is two more layers. You can leave it as is and complete it, or there's a scallop layer that you would put directly behind it like that. And if you wanted to add even another layer, remember this one would have went actually on top of here. So, because it doesn't go there because you won't see it. Hmm. Don't worry, they're labeled in the set so you'll know. Basically there would have been, this layer would have went behind the um, sentiment set. But I wanted more of the bats to show, so we're not gonna use that. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this one behind here. And just make sure you match it up with the circle on the back. Okay. So make sure you don't end up putting adhesive all the way on the ends because then they'll show, show on the edges where the scallops are. Okay, so that's pretty much the front part of the sucker card. 
Now we're going to go ahead and do the back part. The back part which will allow you to be able to take the treats in and out. So now before we put these these two particular pieces on you will need um, some type of little stick to be able to hold the sucker up. I ended up coloring these normally come in white and I believe they're called um, lollipop sticks so you can get them in a pack like at Michael's. I ended up coloring mine's black and all I did was use a sharpie to color it in black. You could probably use like um, other type of felt pens that won't really smear to color them different colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first determine where you want your stick to be. I want this to be the top like that so I can see the words there. So I'm just going to make sure I put it on this little niche here on the other side. So now you can put this down two ways. You can go ahead and just tape it or you can tape it in hot glue or just hot glue. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do both. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on here and I'm going to tape it down. Okay. And you just want to get it almost not exactly up to the um, circle, but just a little bit down from it. Because I didn't tell you, there's also a box that comes with this set. So if you do it too far down, your sucker is not going to be able to fit inside the box. So we'll have that there. And then I'm just going to put a little piece of tape. Right here. Okay, so there's basically the start of the sucker. Now we're going to go ahead and put the back part on. Now you'll notice there's two circles on the back. What you want to do is put adhesive up to the circle. So you want to go from here all the way around to here. And you want to stay as close to the edge as you can, but make sure it's some type of sturdy adhesive. Um, also, you will see there's two little niches here. These niches are just good so that it'll give the um, popsicle stick, I mean, I keep saying popsicle, popsicle stick, the lollipop stick some extra moving room. So that's why there's these little indentions. So I'm going to turn this over and put adhesive up to the circles on the edges. And I'm going to try to do this better working on a circle. And you can also use um, hot glue for this as well. I don't have the best luck with hot glue because it seems like it um, ends up sticking too quick before I even get it on my project. So as you can see, I just went from here up to there. And then you're going to decide, um, that's another thing too, you're going to decide if you want it to be this way or that way. And if you want it to be that way, of course, you would have had to put the adhesive on this side because here's the notches right there. So and you want to match up the not the grooves, the notches here, the dash marks rather, with where you have your stick. So that will go there. Kind of want to press down on it. And see how it just gives it a little bit of room underneath instead of it being flat with the glue. And then you just want to go ahead and fill your treats. Fill it with treats. And I'm filling mine with jelly beans. I bought this big old container of jelly jellies that I use to fill all mine with. So what I'll do is just go through and pick the colors that I want that actually match the project. And then this particular um, backing just goes right here in the part that you left open. 
and that's it and it'll go in and out now you'll also notice on here there's a little um, there's little dash marks here and the reason that those are there is because for the box the box is not this wide so if you're going to be putting this in a box you will end up folding this over like that so and then here's the front now we're going to go ahead and put on this top part so we can get rid of these raggedy edges that are showing sucker. Now it seems as though it might be a good idea since you are gluing up to this circle and these lines, these dash marks are right here just to put a little bit of adhesive right there on that end. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That way it'll stay closed. Okay, then I'm going to put a little bow on here. This little bow right here, and I think I'll put that right there. And then I have this little bat. I bought a box of a package of these little bats that had glitter on them from Michaels. There was a whole bunch of them in the box, and I ended up just putting a whole bunch of um gobs of stickles on the edges. So we're going to put that right here. And I think I'm going to put that on with hot glue just so it doesn't move anywhere. Isn't that so cute? Okay, and sorry about that, my um, video actually ran out of time. Well, actually my disc did. But I ended up putting little white dots around the edges a little bit on there using my favorite Jelly Roll White Sakara Medium Point Pen. Okay, I just think this is the cutest little sucker. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to put together put together the box because it actually comes with a box. So if you wanted to actually send one of these to one of your um, friends or um, family member, you know, maybe um, you have a little person that celebrates Halloween and you want to send them something in the mail, you could actually create this box that fits one perfectly. And it comes with a little window. So this box is very easy to put together and it comes with a few layers. So we're going to go ahead and put together the bottom first. All you're going to do is cut on the solid lines and fold on the dash marks. And if you have a cutting machine, it'll already do that for you. But if you don't, the PDF will have little dash marks and cut lines for you to fold and cut. So. And you're just going to do that and then put adhesive on the edges. Basically you do the top part the exact same way just that there is a window on it. So that's the bottom. So the top we have a window on the top for you to be able to see part of the sucker that's in there. Now, before you assemble this, you want to go ahead and put your clear piece of cardstock on here. So there is a piece in the set that has a bigger circle than the circle that's here, and you will go ahead and put that on first. Just stick that there 
I normally will do the edges on here first and then I will put a little bit of tape on the outside. Just so it does not come up. Put adhesive on the edges. Gonna just fold the edges on here like you did on the top. There you have the lid, and here's the bottom. Now since I don't want my sucker to move around in here, I'm going to put a little bit of this removable adhesive in here, so it'll be easy to come off. See what I mean by the edge? It would be too um, wide, so you just want to fold that over. Or you also can cut it off too, because as long as they see this little part here, they'll know it goes in and out. 